culture, a little bit of a scare at the end there, but defense came in big. I mean, they did. Our short man was real good. Uh, we had control of the game. You know, I would like to, you know what I would like to do? I'd like, I'm going to go watch the video tonight. I'm going to see how many calls we got and how many calls they got when we were up by five. That's what I'm going to do. And I hope the league does it too, because it's disgusting. These guys worked their asses off the whole entire game. We played our game plan to, to the T, and they let them back in the game. Had a real good stretch early on with Ryan Benash in the second quarter, just getting inside. He had a hot, hot ball stick, ball. right? I mean, we were, we shot terribly last night. We talked about it. Um, you know, and he stepped up. I mean, that's what good players do. And, and you know, they need a different guy every night. Or you know, if Ryan wants to do it all year, I'm okay with that too. So, um, but I mean, it was night and day. The ball was moving. And we were more patient. We were uh, controlling the 30 second clock. You know, and we were we were only satisfied with the. Um, quality shots we weren't uh, taking uh, the 50 footers. Any relief come over the bench after you guys killed off three of those seven minutes? Yeah, I mean, you know, obviously it was. I mean, uh, you know, those guys that were out there killing that uh, penalty, it was amazing. And Billy D. Smith had one hell of a game. That guy gave us some good time tonight and, you know, um, you know, to all the defense, like, you know, I mean, Kevin Bernal, he's, he's unreal. The kid is getting better and better. I don't know about you guys, but he's had two great games. Keto <coughs> Hill uh, gets every loose ball, and, you know, I mean, that's what it takes to win. And we didn't have that last night, and we brought it tonight, and, you know, um, that's, that's what it's, it's going to take. First weekend, it looks like five on five. You guys got to be real happy with the way it looks. Five on five, obviously, today the penalties were, were frustrating, and, and yesterday some penalty trouble. But five on five, happy with what you've seen from the first two games. Yeah, yeah. Um, defensively, very happy. Um, you know, we, 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 we communicated really well tonight. Uh, made some good switches uh, when they tried to do a couple plays on us, and, and you know, um, that's a key. Uh, offensively, I was real happy tonight as well. Last night I wasn't so happy, but you know it's a work in progress. We're in the second game, so um, you know, we got a long way to go, but you know, we're happy. Is a game like this coming off last night, the travel, fun and games you had coming in today, uh, make it especially sweet to hang on for this one? Yeah, it, it does, obviously. You want to um, uh, protect home, you want to win at home, you want to be a tough team to, to play at home. Um, I thought we did that for, for the most part of the game, and, and um, um, you know, I mean, everybody does the long road trips in the early mornings and, you know, the quick lunches and things like that. That's part of this league, but, you know, I mean, that's just an excuse. We, we had to come and play tonight because we didn't last night, and, you know, we redeemed ourselves, and so I mean, that was good. Cosmo seemed like he settled down there in the second half, and obviously it was a big part of that penalty kill tonight. Yeah, Cos was a little good last night as well. I mean, you know, we're going to break down. Uh, this is the nature of the game, but, uh, you know, you need a wall there, and he's been a wall, so, um, you know, he gave us some quality uh, saves tonight, huge saves, and, and important ones at the right times. So. Is that uh, a planned night off for JT, or? Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, he's okay. And uh, Watt uh, scheduled to dress, and then Mitch took the floor? Yes, uh, Watt just has a lower, uh, lower body injury that we thought well, was going to be ready to go, and it wasn't, so uh, you know, maybe he'll get another two weeks off, and, and we'll uh, see how it is when uh, we're playing two weeks. Troy, I know you're full of sympathy with what Derek Keenan has gone through in the passing of his, his wife, and I'm sure that emotionally it's hard to know what to expect out of an opponent that's gone through something like that it's obviously a difficult time for everybody it, it, it is uh, obviously it's weighed on the mind of, the, of that team and, and you know Derek's such a big part of this league and, and you know has been for a long time and um, you know we just we've, this, this league and, and lacrosse you know, has had a tough time the last uh, three four months and you know some good people have, have left us um, you know we can just uh, support them and you know um, carry on Thanks, Thanks. 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 Thanks.